Aiden is a wonderful success story at Hope Haven. When I started here, I learned all sorts of stuff. I always helped with the horses. I learned how to groom them and ride them. I'm just connected to them directly. We started in our school program and to watch him grow in so many ways over the years, his self-confidence, his self-esteem, his expression. Because this is like my home. Hope Haven is magic. All right, you guys, come on in. This is such a remarkable facility that helps transform the lives of the people that come here. We are a community resource for children and young adults and adults with diverse needs and disabilities. I'm going to have Aiden joining Lou, Christina and Ollie. Shannon is our recreational therapist and she is a phenomenal facilitator with these kids and she'll say, okay, now we're going to go paint the horses. And it's so amazing to see because here's what happens. Self-esteem self-confidence, social interaction, happiness. These kids are running around having so much fun that everyone at Hope Haven has these smiles on their face. But we want to make sure that no child and no school has to pay for this program. The pandemic, as we all know, created a very significant strain on the physical and mental health of children and especially children with disabilities. In rural communities especially, we need places that give programs to individuals with disabilities. When you walk into our arena and you see a kid who goes from their wheelchair and gets on top of their horse and goes, I feel like I'm 10 feet tall. Or one of them is like, I'm way taller than you now, Barb. There is nothing like that. Seeing the transformation that happens to the people who come here, that is Hope Haven.